Hey YouTube, it's VidHead85. Can we can I talk to you for a minute? Alright. Good to see you. Okay, so I just finished watching this movie called Cachorro in Spanish. In English, it is called Bear Cub. Now, basically, it take what I do like about this film is it um it is a well-written film. I love it. It's it is an it is amazing to kind of see the evolution of of the, the main character Pedro after his sister Violeta comes by with her uh, son, his nephew Bernardo, and Pedro becomes a father, you know, to Pe uh, Bernardo. And what's interesting is how his friends also kind of say, "Well, you kind of changed since you became a dad, really." And when Violeta is the detained, um, heading into India, she it is it gets pretty hairy because of the fact that Bernardo was supposed to be with Pedro only for two weeks. But now it looks like it's going to be a bit more long term than he thought. So now Bernardo be, um, becomes a father, and it's amazing how it just you know the character the secondary characters the supporting cast is wonderful. Um, I love the scene where I believe it's Pedro's birthday or maybe it's Bert Bernardo's birthday. Um, and there's a surprise party after the main character's uh, friend, Javi, um, goes out with him, Pedro, and Ber Bernardo, the three of them, and they come back to Javi's place, and there's a surprise party. And it it was a wonderful scene. Um, you know, and, and in that scene, um, basically, um, Bear Cub, you know, um, the, men in, the men around um, Pedro, they're, they're all bears, and I kind of thought, you know what, that is interesting. Like, you know, like w when I just see like how, you know, um, how I've interacted with, with the bears of my community and whatnot. And, you know, they've just been really awesome guys with, with big hearts. And, you know, um, and, and that, that, that really spills over into the film as well, you know, um, because Pedro now, his heart's actually opening and he is becoming responsible for someone other than just himself. And, and Lola the babysitter is wonderful. I like her character. Um, she just reminds me of the hipster, hippie, um, well, more like hip kind of character that kind of, that steers it into an interesting direction as well. And that Pedro comes to terms with a lot of things of his, in his life, including possibly losing Bernardo. What happens is when Violeta is detained at the Indian border without ID, Doña Teresa tries to give him a good upbringing with, um, by going, um, by instead of him living with her, he goes to a boarding school that is a bilingual, non-religious boarding school. Well, what ends up happening is he's mad at her and says that she w he wishes that she would die. And through, um, through a ser series of voiceovers with the letters between Pedro and Violeta and um, Bernardo and Doña Teresa, they all come to an interesting understanding of, look, you know what, we're not going to make excuses for ourselves. We've done some things, but all in all, we hope that it'll work out for us. But in the at the end of the movie, it's a wonderful scene. But let me jump back to um, Doña Teresa. She actually follows, she uh, hires a PI to go out and follow Pedro on a night on, on the town. And that's how they decide on the compromise. And... Um, when it is revealed that Pedro is HIV positive from Doña Teresa to Bernardo, she, uh, he says, I knew that. I took care of my mom, too. And you took him away from me. And that's like, that's why he's sick now. And, but the scene, the, the entire scene is, was written so amazingly. And just the fact that, that wow, just the conviction in that, that young, uh, young actor's voice, like, he delivered it spot on and um it really captures a lot of the tenderness you know um between the characters you know how they love one another and just how kind of wacky and crazy life can be but this is a fine film i will say a lot of times i think that um foreign films are a lot better than american films mainly because th there's a lot of difference in culture as well and um, but the other part about it is this young boy um, who plays Bernardo 
I like how they write all their characters in a three-dimensional way. Like there is no there is no cut and dry characters in this film. And I just love like it is one of those films that kind of restore your faith in humanity, you know, and um I just have to say that anybody who wants to see this film, go ahead, watch it. I, I, I found it on LogoTV.com, um, and I definitely, I was trying to find a way to get it um, with subtitles, um, and LogoTV.com uh, was the way for me to go. So, Bear Cub, Cachorro, if you, um, it, it is a Spanish-speaking film, by the way, so um, I, I, of course, had to watch it with subtitles. So um, you have yourselves a great day, YouTube, and thank you so much for letting me talk to you.